a brief presentation on comparison between brick and mortar and online retailing by professor geeta shivaraman brick and mortar this name developed from the past methods of commerce trade from a small place or from a retail shop or from a rented place later this after 2000 due to the internet and web based applications the online trading started in many places brick and mortar it denotes that the business operates conventionally by physical presence in a building or other structure like traditional street side business and retail shops brick and mortar refers to a physical presence of an organization or a business in a building or other structure brick and mortar business are companies that have a physical presence for example retail shops in a building and they offer face to face customer sales it has warehouses for its operations the benefits of brick and mortar customer services enhances customer satisfaction to better due to customer interactions face to face buying and selling many consumers prefer to buy their products after checking the brand comparisons its quality its prices and they can have varieties of items and depending upon their utility they can buy from the shops examples of brick and mortar all large retailers in the 19th century and the early mid 20th century started with a smaller brick and mortar for an example mcdonalds a company that started with one small restaurant and now it has nearly thousands of restaurants more than 35000 in over 100 countries online retailing it is also called as e retailing which is done through internet and it includes b2b business to business b2c business to customers sale of products and services through website the main and advantage is that it is available 24 hours a day 7 days a week and sell their merchandise throughout the world throughout the year in internet it has online shops which have no physical presence an online only business needs to have an attractive well designed website a reliable e-commerce system for payment a good delivery or shipping services some stores have both a strong bricks and mortar presence and extensive online shopping services for example it includes best buy walmart and target while these stores are primarily known as brick and mortar businesses they also have major online shopping websites online retailing examples flipkart this was founded in 2007 by two business people sachin and binay bansals 
who were both alumni of the IIT and formerly worked for Amazon. The company initially focused online book sales with countrywide shipping. Following its launch, Flipkart slowly grew in prominence. By 2008, it was receiving hundreds of orders per day. In 2010, it was secured by Bangalore-based social book discovery services. In May 2012, this was again acquired and they started online electronic retailing. In May 2014, it was acquired by Mintra, an online fashion retailer for $20 billion, around $290 million US dollar, which is what 20 billion rupees. In April 2017, eBay announced that it would sell its Indian subsidiary eBay to Flipkart. Conclusion There is a change in the way of marketing and selling of goods and services after internet revolution. Both bricks and mortar and e-tailing exist in our country. The customer should know the technology to buy through internet and through handset mobile sets. Many customers find it easy to go to the stores and buy in spite of knowing the technology. Proper people prefer traditional way of buying so that they can get satisfaction after physically verifying the quality, durability and its utility of various products. Advantages of online detailing. It helps to assess prospective customers at global level. It saves time as well as transactions are made through internet and the goods are delivered at the doorstep. People who are busy will prefer to buy online. Comparatively, it is cheaper as it is direct distribution.